All right, so in the last tutorial with processing, we drew a face. And in this tutorial, you're actually going to paint with a brush in processing. So again, let's look at the code. We've got the function set up. It's creating a canvas. We know what that does. We said it's going to set it up by 800 by 600. Um, looks like maybe this is going to have a background color. And then we have a draw function. And if the mouse is pressed, looks like maybe that background color is going to change. Then we have a stroke and a fill color. And then we have the ellipse. We've seen the ellipse before. What we haven't seen is this mouse X and mouse Y. So can you guess what that's going to do? Let's bring it over to our editor. And remember, if there's some code there, take it away, replace it, and press play. All right, so what's happening? Um, not a lot. Now I'm going to go, ooh, so I'm painting now. So turns out this mouse X and mouse Y is following my mouse. And because this function draw just keeps repeating over and over, it keeps going through. So every time I move my mouse, I get a new ellipse being drawn at 100 by 100. So, you know, the first thing I can change is maybe try this. Okay, now it's a different kind of shape. And then maybe I can change my color so it's a little bit more interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that color. Purple is my favorite color. And then um, when I click, it erases to erases everything on the screen to a new color. So that's what if this mouse is pressed. I think I want to turn this all the way on. Do you remember what that is? I want it to be white. Turn the colors all the way on. And I click, yep, now a white brown brown. So that's pretty cool. And you could create another shape, have it do something. So, one thing you could do with this project is create like your own type of brushes, you know, like a splatter brush. So, um, in order to do that, I'd need to add something to this. Oops. Nope. All right, let's try this. All right, so they're kind of next to each other. I could even change this color so it's a different color. Oh, I like that look. All right. Um, and then I could just keep adding more and more. I could change the sizes of things um, and create some art that way, but I'm going to blow your minds. I'm going to change that to X and this to Y. So you see how these are different? Can you guess what's going to happen here? Oh, it mirrors. Oh, so awesome. And then another uh, thing I want to tell you about is there is actually a fourth uh, number here. So there's R, G, B. And then if you do a comma, the next number is uh, transparency. So that number goes from zero to a hundred. So watch what happens now. Oh, I really like that. That's cool. So that's what you're going to play with today is just um, create as many brushes as you'd like. Experiment with you know, creating like splatters if you can add to your mouse X or mouse Y so it's not, they're not right on top of each other. Experiment with different colors. And then finally, take a screenshot of your masterpiece. All right, good luck.